Alright, hi guys. I'm going to be doing a tutorial today on how to do reality without live. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to install the camera mod from mod assistant right here. Once you have that, click install or update. Well, once you have the camera mod installed, um, first you're going to open up OBS, then you're going to go to capture. Capture the game, uh, capture a specific window, and so we're going to select it's going to be wherever it is, uh, Beat Saber. Okay, so here is Beat Saber right now. Um, so I currently have it on first person. What you're going to want to do is go to um, the cameras. For the main camera, you're going to want to make that instead of first person. What you're going to do is make that third person. So my main camera here is third person. So I'm actually going to go back to my desktop real quick. Okay, so once you have your third person gameplay up, um, you want to make sure that you have everything situated how you want it. I also have an overlay for my third person or first person gameplay on the bottom so that people can look at the first person if they want to and play up. The next thing you have to do is you have to add a video capture device. In this case, I just added a camera. Um, you want to make sure that the in real life camera and your camera 2 camera are going to be above each other, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, so now to get this to actually be keyed out, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this, go to filters, um, and I have chroma keys on So to add chroma key, you're just going to go to the plus sign and click chroma key. Um, and so I'm just going to unhide Chroma keys. I have two just because I have a weird shadow on my green screen just because I didn't put it up entirely straight so <laughs> it's sagging a little bit. So once you have that now you can see the gameplay is overlaid on top of my green screen. So now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to crop this. So I'm actually just going to head back to my computer crop it. To do that you're going to press alt and then you're just going to drag. Alt, drag, I'm gonna do the other side. You also gotta do the top and bottom, don't forget about that. Alt, drag, drag. Once you have that, now you'll be able to just step in, and now you have that part of your mixed reality set up all good. Okay, so the next thing you got to do now is you got to make sure that the camera 2 is lined up with your uh, in-person camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this is lined up by going into the game. The way you're going to line it up is by changing the field of view here. The easiest way to do this is to just go into a song. Um, and we're just going to pause the song and see where our sabers are. So go into the song, pause, and now we're going to see where our sabers are. You can see my sabers are a little bit lower than me. So you can change the field of view, but you can also make the camera smaller. I'm kind of large on the camera right now, as you can see I'm taking up most of the space. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make myself smaller. Um, Capture device. We're just going to make so that it lines up a little bit better. Okay, so now you can see <laughs> that's a lot better, closer to being lined up. Um, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to drag uh, my video capture device. I'm going to drag it to the left a little bit. Okay, so we're 
drag to the left. And now you can see my sabers are pretty much lined up. Uh, left one is a little bit off still, but that's pretty much fine. Uh, as long as the one that's closest is pretty lined up, then you're good. And now you can see that they're, the game is a little bit ahead of my emotions in person. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to our game capture. And we're going to go to filters. And you're going to add a filter. And the filter you're going to add is going to be render delay. And now the render delay is going to depend on your camera for mine. It just happens to be uh, about 115. 115. Oh, it's not doing anything. Uh, 115 milliseconds. Now you can see uh, that's pretty much good. It should be a lot, actually a little bit more. Um, so we're going to do that one more time. Let's try 125. Okay, now you can see that that's pretty good. Uh, so sabers are lined up a little bit pretty good. Uh, I might want to increase that a little bit. Uh, just that it's a little bit more lined up, but I mean, that's pretty good. And that's basically all there is to doing mixed reality this way. Um, so yeah.